remember I was talking about that uh, our M30P pistol that is yeah. almost the ultimate vehicle gun. Uh -huh. Well, this one is the ultimate vehicle gun. That's cool. This is the Imp. It's an inland motor patrol pistol. We designed this for one of the local police departments there in Dayton that uh, wanted a firearm that'd be as compact as possible to carry in their uh, motorcycle side bags. Mm -hmm. This is what we came up with. Uh, seven half inch barrel, 16 inches overall length, weighs less than four and a half pounds, but yet it's a 30 caliber carbine. And Jeff, I tell you what, when you pull the trigger on this, we gotta get video of the look on your face. Yeah, I bet you get some good uh, good penetration stuff for that too, don't you? Uh, well, actually, with the 30 carbine, you get good penetration, but it doesn't over penetrate right. soft tissue. Uh -huh. However, it will penetrate hard barriers right. like car doors and windshields uh -huh. that uh, calibers like the 556 has difficulty with. That's pretty cool. You know, last year we came out with a PM22 uh, rimfire suppressor mm -hmm. that uh, uses a uh, polymer monocore, right. uh, uh, one of the lightest suppressors on the market. And it was a shame that Inland had such a nice suppressor, but we didn't have anything to shoot with it. So we had to make that take care of that. This year we partnered with Marvel, and for those who aren't familiar with the Marvel conversions, Marvel is probably the most accurate, most reliable conversion ever been built right. for the 1911 platform. Um, all the competitive shooters are very familiar with Marvel. Uh, we've got competition models that are guaranteed sub one inch groups at 50 yards of a handgun. Um, we're doing three different models with it, um, with the Marvel this year. To include uh, an actual dedicated pistol, this will be the TAC-22 pistol that's on our stainless steel Inland 1911 standard 1911 receiver, but it's a 22 conversion on it. And I'm telling you what, it's one of the finest 22s you, you're going to wrap your hands around and capable of competition looks cool let's shoot them Okay, Ron, tell us about your suppressors here a little bit. Well, this is a new suppressor we're doing for 2018. It's 100% titanium, and we've got a new uh, method of production on it. We're actually spinning it instead of machining it, mm -hmm. normal machining, which uh, minimal waste on the suppressor. And uh, these are going to retail in the $500 range. 
the uh, this particular one is the T9. It's a nine millimeter suppressor, and I actually have with me one of a uh, uh, familiar with JRC carbines. Uh -huh. Well, JRC carbines coming out with a pistol this year. They've got a uh, uh, this is their pistol with a gearhead arm brace, similar to what we're using on mm -hmm. our little Emlyn product. And then they've got a model uh, without the arm brace. Mm -hmm. um, and well, I give this a little nine millimeter a try with this sure. titanium suppressor. What do you think? Let's try it out. Alrighty. Now with this titanium suppressor and like our PM22 suppressor, both work extremely well with a new uh, DB foam that we uh, mm -hmm. we produced this or re released this last year as well. Uh -huh. The DB foam. Uh, will drop the decibel level on about any suppressor three to five decibels and not only does it do that but when you foam a suppressor it'll stay foamed up for not hours but for several days really? uh, actually if you keep the air off of it it'll stay foamed for over six months and uh, it sort of collects any unburnt particles mm -hmm. and makes clean up a breeze it washes out with just hot soapy water and it makes uh, clean suppressors. So how much do you put in? I mean, do you fill it up, or how do you do uh, it? You know? It's just a, it's an expanding foam uh, uh -huh. for a suppressor this size. It's about a one second shot inside there, and it'll fill the entire can. So you don't recommend using the expanding foam like you get at Lowe's and Home Depot that insulate uh, stuff. That doesn't work as well. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, and I have to point out too, even though this looks really good, uh -huh. you don't want to use it on. Uh, Ice cream sundaes or pies, yeah. and all okay. Okay. or you can't, you don't, and well, you wouldn't want to shave with it anyway. I don't want to shave. It don't, <laughs> it don't, it don't dry like that uh, nope. contractor foam stuff does. No, it stays uh, that foam consistency like yeah. that, and it'll stay like that for like for this. months. And you can go oh, hunting oh. all day long. You're gonna have foam in it like that. Really, it ain't gonna go away like no nope. oil and stuff. Does. And it's, uh, and once if it does uh, dissipate, it just mm -hmm. that's about. What's in here now will won't even fill a thimble, so you don't have to worry about running down in the action. It's oh, got cool. a rust inhibiting and non-corrosive properties, so if it does okay. get down in the action, it doesn't hurt anything. That's cool stuff. Yeah. Thank you.